What's our favorite part of the first half of Ephesians 2? Our favorite part is verse 4. But God. Amen? Because there's some bad news in verses 1 through 3. And then you get, but God. Watch this. Verses 11 and 12, you get bad news. Verse 13, but now in Christ Jesus. The news is bad in the first half, but God. The news is bad in the second half, but now in Christ Jesus. Look what he says, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. What is this an allusion to? This is an allusion to the temple. To the worship of God's people. You come up the steps in Solomon's porch and, and, and you want to come in and, 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 and ultimately we know that inside the Holy of Holies it, it, is, it is there where, where the presence of God is seen to dwell and nobody goes there but the high priest and that only once a year and then outside of that there's a place where, where the priests minister and then there's an area where the Levites can go and then there's an area where Jewish men can go and then there's an area where Jewish women can go and, and then back here, way far off, you have the court of the Gentiles. They've come to know and love Yahweh, but even though they've come to know and love Yahweh, they still, when they come to worship Yahweh, have to be way back there, as far away from the presence of Yahweh as you can possibly get. But Christ dies, and the veil of the temple is torn in two. And now all of a sudden in Christ, you who used to have to sit way back there, have been brought near by the blood of Jesus. Christ has reconciled us to God.